You reject, you reject that? I mean, this is part of what America is all about. I'm asking you, do you reject the interference of a foreign leader calling for the crackdown on full American citizens exercising their basic rights, their First Amendment rights, to demonstrate? That's Look, what I'm asking you. Uh, the prime minister was commenting on something, hap something happening in this country. I will say over the course the of this. Minister, I I'm asking you. You are, you, know, you are here representing the government of the United States of America. I'm asking you, you as a, a, an officer of this government, of this administration, do you reject the interference of a foreign leader saying that you must crack down on Americans exercising their right to demonstrate. It's a very simple answer, a question. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't equate that to interfering, Said. It is someone saying something. Ultimately, anybody who has a modicum of basic understanding of how the National Guard and how local law enforcement works, that ultimately, and since we're talking about the National Guard, that that is a decision up to individual uh, governments. Just like you all ask me about things that are happening in countries around the world. Right. You ask the secretary, you ask the president about events that are happening in countries around the world. We're seeing leaders uh, from around the world offer their comments on things that are happening in the United States. Uh, but when it comes to the actioning on those items, there are procedures in place. Ultimately, these individual campuses can speak to uh, what safety protocols that they have in place to ensure that students, faculty, and others are kept safe. What I'm saying in a broad sense is that rhetoric that is rooted in anti-Semitism, rhetoric that is rooted in Islamophobia, that rhetoric that is rooted in targeting individuals for simply for just who they are is unacceptable. And we have seen that in some of these demonstrations. There is no doubting that right. fact either, Said. So right. now, I, I've taken a couple of questions on this. No, no, You've got I, a, a I, bunch I, of I colleagues. have a couple more questions, but I have one, one sure. last comment. Don't you uh, feel offended by the fact that a foreign leader is trying to fan the flames against Palestinian Americans in this country? That's exactly what he's doing. You don't feel offended by that? Said, that is not how I would uh, interpret the prime minister's comments.